The day has finally come. It's release day for Spirit and all of Spirit's roommates for the past six months. I must say it's bittersweet. We've been through a lot together. Um, when Spirit came in, obviously, um, everyone was excited to see uh, albino fawn for the first time, and we followed through some of the health challenges that we had with that little one. The challenges of a little wild fawn coming in, teaching it how to suck off a bottle, and then how to eat grains and alfalfa, to actually getting to be introduced to the natural vegetation that Spirit was going to find once released. So we loaded everybody up this morning in a horse trailer. There was a total of eight that went out and we took an hour and a half drive up to this private ranch land area that is completely secured from any type of hunting um, or any type of community accessibility. Whenever we release fawns that have been in our rescue, there's always a concern. Are they going to be habituated, having been around people? Have we done a good job at keeping them wild so that they know what to do when they run out of the trailer? And spirits seem to know automatically that this is where I belong. Spirit took off and kind of researched the area. Um, went in to brush so that Spirit was hidden from view of um, the rest of us, and then circled around and came back with the rest of the fawns, went over, checked out a water source, they kind of all played in the water, and then they headed off as a herd back into the brush area. And that's exactly what the deer are supposed to do. They take cover in all the berry bushes and the marsh bogs and whatnot that are out in nature. Many people felt that spirits should go to a zoo or some type of sanctuary. Other people said, no, spirits should be free. What we do at Kindred Spirits is we rescue and rehabilitate fawns that are to be released back into the wild. That is our purpose. That's what we're permitted for with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. So spirit will live a free life out in a very safe environment. Obviously, no one can predict if there's predators or whatever, that's anywhere. Even if they're confined to some of these private reserves, they, they still um, can have those types of issues. But I think spirit is living the life that spirit is meant to live. And we shed tears. They're happy, they're sad tears. But in the end, we know we, we were successful at doing what we were supposed to do.